okay. I'm ready too. And we can begin. I think you took the Maryland painting because I couldn't find it. But that's uh, okay. No, I, I, I didn't take anything. Wait, wait, what you, uh, no. No, I, I didn't take it, funny. Okay. Are you ready? No. <clears throat> okay, I'm ready, funny. Okay. <clears throat> so what am I doing here? You're just going over those. This is the painting, the closet collection. And we're... Yeah, I need to know this stuff, huh? Yeah, that's what I told you before. I need to know now. I don't pay attention earlier. Yeah, these are all closet things... Closet collection. Right. That we're finding. We're putting a bunch of stuff up for sale based on everything that we're finding. Oh, uh, okay. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. And you're highlighting those things too. <clears throat> okay, and you're live. Hi, I'm Steve Rude, and we're in the dude studios. And there's a bunch of stuff we need to tell you about that's going on uh, today. Um, because there's always something of interest going on at Dude Central. Uh, this is Dude Central, my studio. It's a huge place. I get everything I've ever wanted or needed here. And it's very exciting to come up here, to run up here every morning, to run up the stairs and see what I have to do today that I'm not sure I can pull off. But that's the life of an artist, and that's what we do with Dude Central here. Um, <clears throat> today is uh, um, Closet... What is it called? Closet Collection. The clo I knew that. <clears throat> the Closet Collection. <clears throat> the Closet Collection is is um, <clears throat> is something that we call the Closet Collection because <clears throat> there are literally hundreds and hundreds of little studies that I've done over the years, um, literally hundreds, that <clears throat> we're going to be putting up for sale now. And I'm... We're putting them up for sale, not because I want to, but because Princess Gino Ginelli says we, uh, we have a, we're building a pool in the backyard. Uh, that was her defying in the background here, Mr. Producer Gino Ginelli. <clears throat> and we, you know, pools are expensive. It's like a couple billion dollars to put in a pool. You guys know what that's like, those of you who have pools. <clears throat> and so we've got to sell these things. So I'll be going over that in, uh, in a little bit here. Uh, what I want to show you before we get into that, because there's always something interesting going on at Dude Central, is <clears throat> this is the new uh, <clears throat> book that's coming out on Nexus. It's called Return, no, sorry, Battle for Thune World. <clears throat> and this is actually page three. <clears throat> and we're going to continue with the newspaper strip format, <clears throat> which I, I, I'm very excited about because nobody's doing newspaper strips anymore. The adventure strip that was once so prominent and popular in the uh, in the war years, both wars, war, World War One and Two uh, years, has gone the way of the dodo. Well, we don't want that to happen here at Dude Central, so we are bringing that format back, and I couldn't be more excited about that. And this is what the original size page looks like right here. It's huge. It may not look very big back there, but if we put it right up here like this, you can see how big this is. This is like 20 by by 14. <clears throat> and this is in stark contrast to the normal comic book page, which is like 11 by 17. So you can see how big these things are. And it's a joy to work this big. <clears throat> to, my, uh, to my left here. Is that my left? Yeah. To our left here <clears throat> is... Uh, Something I'm looking at for inspiration. It's um, I got this huge book on Prince Valiant. It's it's uh, so it's all the originals compiled into one gigantic book um, that Hal Foster had done, starting in the 30s and going on to the was it the 40s? Anyway, he did this thing for his entire lifetime. It's the greatest comic strip ever done, and that's kind of what I'm I'm thinking about. When I when I decided to do Nexus as a comic comic strip instead of a comic book, <clears throat> this guy was unparalleled. Everyone knows that it's a, literally the last word in, in quality story and art as far as comic strip goes. And I wanted to be part of that lineage. So 
that's what we're that's what we're, uh, we're what we're looking at right here. <clears throat> um, these are my thumbnails. <clears throat> I always do the entire book out in in thumbnail form. That helps me understand everything that every element that has to go into the story visually. Uh, I am actually writing this book myself, uh, Battle for Thune World, and <clears throat> it's pretty exciting. Mike Barron is doing his own thing, so we're doing two separate things on our own. Don't worry, we're still the best of pals. <clears throat> and um, so it's a very exciting time to be going over this right here. Um, <clears throat> I have to get out my, my old Nexus books here for uh, to check on details to make sure they're authentically true to uh, <clears throat> things that we're talking about in this strip here that actually go back to issues like this, which we all know and remember so fondly, including me, who drew, <laughs> who drew all this stuff here. <clears throat> I look back in this stuff with great fondness. Uh, before we get going here, <clears throat> I want to tell you about a Christmas gift that everyone needs to have here. Um, <clears throat> this is a stun gun that, um, oh no, sorry, it's, it's a vibrator. Um, it's a massager. A massager. Yeah, it's not a vibrator like the kind you're thinking about here, you dirty blinded guys. This is a actual um, thing that I, I don't really know how it works. Oh, you turn the switch and you press the button back here, you see? <clears throat> and if you guys with, with back situations, which is all upright mammals, this is the thing that you need right here <clears throat> to be doing to your back in any other place you, that you may feel is lacking. So <clears throat> we've got we've got one of those. Um, now we just have to turn it off. There we go. So you're gonna you're what you're you're all gonna want to get one of these right here, all you suffering artists for, with back pain. Um, <clears throat> let's get to the main event. But before we get to the main event, <clears throat> this came in the mail right here. This is uh <clears throat> this is what our book is gonna look like, the uh, the coming of Gormando. This is the first Nexus release that compiles all the comic strips that we've done for the first volume of Nexus. It's going to come in a, in a slip case like this. It's going to be what we call the Artist Edition. And <clears throat> let me show you how incredible the printing is in this book right here. We take the slip cover off and we open it up and we get blank pages. <clears throat> Obviously this is going to have not blank pages when it gets printed. Uh, but what the heck, I got this in the mail, and it's going to make a good sketchbook for somebody, maybe me. So <clears throat> here, let's get to the closet collection right here, starting with, we've got four items here. One is, <clears throat> everyone knows um, this character, Space Ghost from 1966. Don't be fooled by the cheap imitations that came after that. Um, <clears throat> so this is a, something I did recently that we're, we're going to be selling. Uh, Price-wise, you're going to have to ask Princess Gino Ginelli about uh, the actual cost of these things right here. But they're, uh, they're designed to sell. They're designed to fly out the, the, the door. So <clears throat> prices are going to be very reasonable. Um, <clears throat> this is something that, uh, <clears throat> that I've been working on for a long time. Everyone who's uh, part of the dude mailing list in part of the newsletter knows all about the Nexus animated cartoon that I've been working on for half my lifetime. Um, I wore a much younger man's clothes when I originally uh, <clears throat> began this, this enterprise back in uh, 1988. Yeah, when I moved to LA, I was very excited about uh, <clears throat> the idea of bringing Nexus as a cartoon show uh, on the air that would very much be in the style of uh, a show that set the standard and has never been equaled. And we're talking about, of course, Johnny Quest. Uh, <clears throat> Nexus is much based on those cartoon shows, uh, particularly Space Ghost, which I grew up with when I was like eight or nine. Um, <clears throat> so this is, an, this is an actual uh, drawing right here that I did. It's on 12 field animation paper. You see the pegs down there. <clears throat> and not to be outdone, because I screwed this one up, <clears throat> I did another one that looks exactly like it. But don't be fooled, they are indeed both from the hand of Steve Rue, the dude here right here. <clears throat> so we've got that going for us. Both on genuine 12 field animation paper, which is the same paper that all the cartoon shows that we grew up on were, were done on. These are considered layouts. 
layouts are drawn by um, a certain artist that is skilled at uh, figures and then they're passed on to the animator who hopefully can make these things move, which I'm still practicing and working out on my own after hours. Uh, you also know that Nexus is based on the things that I grew up on. One of them was Star Trek. So to me, Captain Kirk is, has been my hero for a long time. He taught me leadership. He taught me uh, how to get out of <clears throat> tricky situations that no one ever thought he could get out of. And he was beloved by women around the galaxy. So who doesn't want to be a guy like that? I certainly did, and so that's why Captain Kirk is my idol right here. <clears throat> this is a piece that I did with watercolor and Prismacolor pencils. <clears throat> so I hope you like this one right here. This was done in uh, 2020 in November, so about a year ago. It's 11 by 15, and I'm very proud of this thing right here. Um, <clears throat> for those of you that uh, have, have a uh, idea to purchase these pieces right here, um, <clears throat> They're going to be shipped like this in sturdy plastic that is uh, impenetrable by all modern arms. So when it comes in, when it comes in your mailbox finally, you lucky winners uh, who can afford these things, this is the way it's going to come. So oh, Flowheart is here. Uh, Flowheart is here to uh, approve of the, the closet collection that we're deciding on here. It's your ear if you think this is a good deal, Flowheart. Okay, it's, it's confirmed, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> so we've got that. We've got one more piece that we don't see here um, that I've, I've been accused of uh, uh, hiding so that we can't sell it. But in fact, it is a Marilyn Monroe piece that I did, and it's a watercolor. Now, we don't have that, but we're going to be showing it online to show you what we don't have right now to show you live. So that's the, that's the beginning of uh, what we're going to call the, uh, the Closet Collection, a series of literally hundreds of stuff that we're going to be doing every Thursday, um, you'll be, you, which means you'll be seeing me every Thursday uh, selling these wares to you, the lucky fans out there. And <clears throat> hopefully it's something that you, uh, you might want to purchase because the, um, they're, <clears throat> they're priced to sell. They're all, they're all studies that I've done over the years. This is how I pre this is how I stay uh, alert as an artist <clears throat> is by copying masters, uh, artists that are that are much my superior in every way, and that's how I learn how to improve. If, if in fact <clears throat> that's even possible to improve after 64 years on this earth, um, <clears throat> but there's always something to learn. And if you're a student like I am, you think of yourself as a student. You, you will maintain the same kind of fun you had as, as an artist as you, as you did when you were a little kid drawing on those rainy days when you had nothing more to do than pick up a pencil and grab some typing paper. Remember typing paper? It's called computer paper now, but to me it's typing paper. So those are the things we have uh, for sale. I hope you guys like these things here. Where's Space Ghost? Where's Space Ghost? <clears throat> So that's what we have for this Thursday for the, from the closet collection. Um, uh, write in and ask about these things because they are for sale. So we'll see you next time with more entertaining stuff. <clears throat> and don't forget, you got a bad back, you know where to turn to, okay? <clears throat>